Hey guys, Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another theme week. So I got a brand new um, hoodie that has little ears on it and they're actually cat ears. I found this really adorable sweatshirt um, and it has this like sleeping kitty on it and which I love. If you guys are following me on any sort of social media like Instagram or Facebook, <clears throat> On Saturdays, I always post a happy, happy Catterday post. Uh, a little bit besotted with cats. I don't have one anymore. I didn't. Uh, I didn't get another one after my my last cat Marley passed away because it was really devastating. So it's just me and Lacey right now. So anyway, I thought this would be really fun, and I ordered myself a large, and I thought that would be adequate. But this feels like a really snug crop top. <laughs> So <laughs> it's not super comfortable, but it is super cute. And since it's like minus 34 where I live today, it's pretty warm. So I'm thankful for it. And if you guys want to hop into whatever, you know, fun or cool or hoodie or whatever, go ahead and pause the video and, and do that. I love to have fun, you guys. Um, you know, and wardrobe is one of the easiest ways that you can have fun and really express yourself. Um, anyway, I'm going to do an enchanted Monday tarot card reading. Did I say for Monday, January 4th? I meant to. Um, so we'll jump right in here and we're going to look at what to expect or focus on. And just so you guys know, like next week, I'm going to uh, switch out some decks because I've got a couple new decks and I want to start using those. So you can expect a little bit of change in the rotation. We'll keep it fresh. So what to focus on, you guys? We've got the sun card. So this is just a really wild, abandoned sense of emotion. And also, oh my God, hold on. Wow, sorry. So I went to swallow and it went down the wrong tube and I was like, Ugh. I couldn't breathe. So I hope I didn't scare you guys or freak you guys out. But anyway, back to the reading. We have this card of blazing abundance and what I really connect to about this card and it might make sense for you guys too is like I asked my higher self what I could do more of to connect with them better um you know to make them happy and they said to dance so I'm getting a really strong guidance to have you guys just sit in meditation or quietly you don't have to meditate and just like directly ask your higher self what can I do to raise my vibration or increase the channel between you and I so if you guys are not aware of what the higher self is um, I'm not gonna go into a big long-winded explanation because you know you guys know how much I love to chat so um, you know just check it out after it is it's you in a higher dimension attached to you, you know, and seeing ahead. Your your higher self sees every single, after I said I wasn't going to talk about it, every single possible timeline for you. And, you know, the more connected you are to your higher self, the more clearly you will get impulses on the right decisions to make. So, you know, sometimes your higher self is like, ugh you know or they're like yeah <laughs> so you really want to encourage that go you feeling from your higher self so anyway um and i feel like my higher self has done this for you know probably most of my life where it's like, oh, has she not you not learned yet so let's see what to embrace for you guys um Okay, the card came in upside down, but I don't do reversals. Um, ooh, you have the Six of Cups here. So what to embrace? You guys could have a second chance. And of course, I got the words at love. You know, um, you could have... This is really powerful. Like, look at this couple dancing in the sun. And then you have the Six of Cups, which really speaks of like a second time around it's like I'm getting that feeling you know when you watch kind of a cheesy but it's heartwarming romantic comedy and you're like oh that was nice um that's what I'm getting here for you guys it could be a childhood friend it could be depending on your relationship status um 
you know, where you are in your life, if you're single or, or not. Um, it could be that person. It could be that person that you're like, well, I wonder what my life would have been like if I had stayed with them or, you know, if you've been single for other reasons, it's like, well, you know, I think I'm ready to have that start up again. Very, very deep impression that I'm getting from these cards that it, it's going to be very welcome, you know, for this to come back because sometimes when the Six of Cups comes back around, you're just not ready for it. So I feel like divine and perfect timing is really at play here because you do have this beautiful sun energy and it's working out very, very well. You know, the, the harmony between these two characters in the sun card is like, you know, very nice. If you've ever danced with somebody that wasn't in step with you, you know what I'm talking about because this person will dance exactly to the same beat that you do. So what to bring forward, you guys? You've got the Hierophant card. Like, what is this even? You know? He's so creepy. I think he's like a gargoyle or something like that. So what to bring forward is your deep spiritual belief that everything is going to turn out okay for you, whether or not you're looking for a new romance. But I really see this being deeply tied to a romantic venture coming soon to a theater near you. And you know what's really funny? Um, this is a little puppet theater here. So really important connection coming in. And I'm, I'm seeing it to do very much with romance. I've been seeing a little bit of romance in the cards lately. And I think for some of you, it's high time. And me too. So let's see what to leave behind. I'm going to pull a card for that. <laughs> I think this guy came up before in a card that in a position where, um, you know, what to leave behind. It could have even been your Monday reading a little while ago. But look at this guy. You know, really... He's like really acting a fool. What to leave behind? Look at this. Like this is the, just the perfect match. We've all seen this guy. We've all been that guy. Um, you might want to just resist the temptation to show off in front of somebody. To show them how funny you are. You know. Um, there's walking up to the line. And then there's crossing the line. And then there's absolutely being so far away from the line that it's a dot. Okay. So... The fool is really taking things too far. Some of you might be tempted to, you know, because you're really nervous. If you're going out on a date or you're having a Zoom date or whatever it is you're allowed to do in your region and you consume alcohol or whatever, um, really keep it to a minimum, okay? There's a difference between taking the edge off and then, again, just like jumping off the edge, right? So um, leave this sort of this energy of having to really be the entertainer. That is not what this is about. This is more about merging and connecting, feeling really joined in together with somebody. Again, having that perfect harmony. It's not about taking the stage on your own and sort of trying to blow somebody out of the water with, you know, how amazing you are because that's obnoxious. And that comes from a place of usually a bit of ego and then insecurity so this could really be a turn off you know have you ever been on a date or just out with a friend and all they do is talk about themselves and you're sitting there waiting <clears throat> it's not fun it's not cool to watch somebody go through a performance that nobody is enjoying so be mindful of that and conversely if you notice that somebody is acting like this, if it's a friend that's coming in or this potential romantic person, you might want to cut them off and say, hey, are you okay? Like, I'm really nervous too, so let's just dial it back a little bit. You might want to do that person a favor and just say, it's okay, you know, let's just relax and be ourselves. We don't have to perform through anything here, you know, just really embrace the opportunity to be together as you know magical spirits of love and light so you have a really great opportunity here with either 
I got the words love and marriage or just a really deep friendship, you know, so very cool energy. I love when people like this are coming in. I'm still having that thing going on here. So I'm going to wrap up the reading, you guys, and maybe lie down on the floor and cough up a furball. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye.